What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the stream. We're live with a little bit of a treat. Some early morning Warhammer 40,000. It's currently 9 a.m. over here, by the way, so I've got my coffee in hand. Uh, I know Dudes is over in U.S. Central time, so he's even earlier and uh, is, is shaking off some sleep, I think. But we are live with the Black Crusade Online GT4 Finals. This is a 30-person online GT run over at the Black Crusade server by none other than Mr. Dutes, who is in the red seat today uh, and has also made it to the finals of his event. So big congratulations to him. Uh, if you watched my games, I played in the semifinals against him. We had an absolutely sick game, uh, Thousand Suns versus Adeptus Roritas. Spoiler about how that went, because Dutes is in the finals and I'm not. Uh, but up against over here in the blue, stream legend Ash C. And what's going to be interesting today is that we have two separate, almost entirely distinct varieties of Adeptus Auroritas fighting against each other. So it is a mirror match. We did get sisters versus sisters this uh, game, which is already kind of exciting, to be honest, because that's not a faction we see too often. Although I do think that they are uh, maybe overrepresented in the online space there are so many really strong sisters players online and I, i'm not sure what what it is uh about sisters and online competition but sisters players usually tend to like sort of flock online but anyway we have two excellent players here two very different lists ash running a much more uh transport oriented multiple small unit or minimum size unit MSU build running a ton of scoring as much scoring as we basically can possibly fit into the army versus dudes over here who has much more battle tank artillery focused kind of a classic sisters build uh both of what them running the a bevy of characters and it looks like deployment is just about to begin for these players and their clock has started yeah so we are off to the races we can talk about some lists real quick by the way chat we do have the prediction up there's five minutes left on it if anybody wants to throw their hat in the ring for some channel points. Everybody on a dudes right now, interestingly. Uh, exclamation point lists in chat if you want to take a look at the lists. And I do want to throw a shout out to dudes as well. Big uh, thanks to him for both, no, both running the event and letting me commentate the finals here. As you might, a little bit of a reminder, this isn't my event, so I'm not... Uh, um, I'm not going to be sort of acting as much of a judge as I am for my own finals. We're just, we're simply here spectating. Uh, Dutes is, is in charge when it comes down to it. So, let's talk about the lists. Let's talk about Dutes's list first. Both of these obviously in a Hallowed Martyrs attachment because that's the only one available to Sororitas right now. Uh, dudes over here rocking Morvan Vol and the Triumph of St. Catherine. One Imagifier with saintly example. So when she dies, she's going to generate additional miracle dice. Uh, what dudes usually will use that character for is uh, as a utility unit. She's going to be running out to score secondaries or hold down primary. As she dies, you can then use Divine Intervention to re re uh, get the on-death trigger of the character and then have her respawn and do it again. So you can potentially be generating a boatload of Miracle Dice off of the death of the Imagifier um, and then uh, potentially be treating those as sixes uh, or or just uh, potentially just using rolling a bunch of sixes. Turns out when you roll like eight Miracle Dice from a character dying, then... Um, you have a, a pretty good chance of rolling a bunch of really strong numbers. We then have two units of Arco Flagellants, 10 each. These guys are uh, absolutely wild little blenders of a unit. They are little tiny infantry, but they have a bunch of twin-linked attacks. They, I believe, can uh, base four attacks, but they can use their Extremis Trigger Word to give themselves six attacks in exchange for gaining Hazardous, so they can essentially overcharge their weapons. Uh, and th with that many twin linked attacks, if they if they do lose any models on the way in, then they will get plus one to hit. They're normally only hit on fours, which is an, uh, unfortunate for them, but they do have sustain. So they're kind of like hitting on threes. They're basically hitting on twos if they've lost any models of the unit, thanks to the, the detachment ability. So those guys are, are absolute infantry sweepers, and for only 13 points a model, they are a steal. We then have a unit of two Crusaders, one Dominion Squad with four Minotaur Inflamers. That's a 10-model Dominion Squad. Those are the uh, Scout Sisters. 
And with emulators, they do have the chance to split into multiple units. So uh, what we can do with those is keep several of them, potentially the the the, hand, the um, uh, flamer sisters, inside an emulator. You can then you know bail them out from the emulator, fire the emulator at their target, and then all of those flamers with plus one strength, thanks to being uh, the Adeptus Sororitas variety of flamers end up uh, also rerolling all their wound rolls. So it's actually kind of a lot of damage out of this little unit. You can put, uh, if you put the Dominion Superior inside the team, you're shooting five flamer profiles uh, it's between strength four and strength five, uh, all of which with full wound rerolls if they're bailing out of an immolator. And that immolator uh, also gains the benefit of, of scout if the Dominions are embarked inside it. We then have one Seraphim Squad with a couple Hand Flamers and a Plasma Pistol. Uh, two Seraphim Squads, excuse me. Two Castigators. These ones with Auto Cannons uh, and Missiles. We have two Exorcists with the uh, Exorcist Missile Launcher, so not the Conflagration Launcher. Uh, the big, the big uh, D6 damage gun. Plus one unit of Paragon Warsuits for more of Involved to join to give full rerolls to uh, one Immolator, again, to trigger the synergies with Fire Support, and two uh, Sororitas Rhinos alongside one Kalidus Assassin. Uh, not really sure what the battle tactic target here is for um, the Kalidus Assassin, since it can uh, it can CP tax an enemy battle tactic. I believe the only battle tactic available to Adeptus Sororitas is Light of the Emperor. Um, which uh, allows you to ignore modifiers, which isn't that exciting. So I think that's probably just going to get hit on a CP reroll, probably. Which, uh, it, to be fair, is pretty effective for sisters. Sisters love doing C uh, dice manipulation with their miracle dice and command point rerolls. So they're, uh, making that more expensive is kind of a big deal. Moving on to Ash's list. Again, this is an entirely different variety of Adeptus Sororitas, which is super sick. Starting with the Palatine with the Blade of St. Eleanor. That is plus one attack strength and damage. If the uh, character is wounded, you can add two instead. Uh, what we can potentially do with that character as well is uh, have it die then you can respawn it with uh, lower than its starting number of wounds if that if um that potentially could uh if, if it uh was killed at one point using divine intervention obviously and then you can respawn it with that attack strength and damage bonus added the palatine we can pull up the palatine's data sheet real quick here because it is a an absolute combat monster but a really weird um uh, or has a, a, a sort of bevy of really weird abilities here we go here's the data sheet we found it grants lethal hits to the unit because she's kind of a lieutenant used to literally be a lieutenant for the faction with a reroll one's aura but now uh, that that has been translated into lethal hits uh, in addition you can discard a miracle dice not it does it's not performing an active faith which is nice because it doesn't take up your active faith usage for the unit if you do then when the palatine scores a wound it adds a mortal wound on top of normal damage so if you're plus two strengths ap and damage it goes to six attacks at strength six ap four or ap four three uh, four damage i believe right and then you can also be dealing a mortal wound every time one of those goes through you can ensure that those miracle dice go through with uh or you can sure the wounds go through with Miracle Dice, which will then, uh, in addition, deal the mortal wounds. You also have lethal hits as well. And on top of that, uh, if you are within range of the Triumph of St. Catherine, you could potentially be scored, uh, spending multiple Miracle Dice to ensure that that happens. So the Palatine is potentially available with the correct application of Miracle Dice. Has the potential to do absolutely ludicrous damage. Okay. Uh, we then have the Triumph of St. Catherine, a Dialogus, again with safe, saintly example. So similar to the um, Imagifier in uh, the, uh, it is a, yeah, it, it, the Imagifier inside Dutz's list, this Dialogus is going to be able to generate a bunch of Miracle Dice over the course of the game, simply by dying and then using the Stratagem, uh, Divine Intervention, to respawn. Pointy thing. Pull up the dialogus as well, real quick here, yeah, so we can take a look at her data sheet. So, for uh, 
Importantly for her, while she's slating a unit, you can use your miracle dice when used on the unit. Um, you can turn them into a six. The the wombo combo here, and what we are probably going to be using this unit for, uh, assuming that we have retributors in Ash's list, which I believe that we do. Uh, maybe we don't. Seems like the same number of drops. Okay, maybe we don't have any retributors yet. Um, but one thing that, that it is possible to do with this model, I think depending on your event FAQs, uh, is because the Triumph of St. Catherine allows you to do multiple acts of faith each turn with uh, within six inches of it. And the Dialogus, whenever you use an act of, or the, the, um, whenever you use an act of faith with a unit, you can change the dice as a result of that active face to an automatic six. Normally, that's not that big of a deal because you get one of them per turn, so it's nice. You get to turn a dice into a six. That's pretty good. But the dial the uh, combination of the Dialogus and the Triumph of St. Catherine allows you to turn a bunch of dice into six, potentially, because you're just con constantly performing acts of faith in the same phase. So you, c you can potentially, if you have enough CP uh, with something like a multi-melta, you can just be turning all of your... Um, all of your dice into sixes using those multi melta attacks. Now, I don't know if the the uh, attachment options for this lady. I think that that usually is uh, used on Battle Sister. Yeah, so it's either Battle Sister multi meltas or or Retributor Squats. It's usually where that's going in order to uh, automatically convert melta damage. But there's a lot of uh, interesting synergies with that unit and the Triumph. Basically, whatever you throw dice into, the, that that character's leading is going to be extremely effective. We do have one, uh, an Eversore Assassin. Oh, it looks like we're going to go first here real quick. No. no. <laughs> and it looks like that is Dudes taking the first turn. Sounds like Dudes isn't too happy about it. So we are on, uh, we should note as well, we are on priority targets today, chat, and hidden supplies. So there are six objectives on the table. The center objective gets split into two. It looks like both players are running tactical objectives today, so let's go ahead and make sure that that is correct uh, on our score sheet. One. Yep. So um, the players can score up to 10 victory points per turn holding their objectives. At the end of the game, they will then score their objectives again. So this doesn't have a bottom round five scoring. Uh, Kenobi Jen, thank you for the follow, by the way. So this doesn't have a bottom round five scoring like a lot of... Uh, a lot of... Um, Missions do for the second player. Instead, both players will get bottom round five scoring on top of their top of round scoring. So because <laughs> these are objective sororitas armies, they are absolutely flush with units. It is unlikely that these armies are going to be... Uh, looks like we're probably going to do our scout moves with the Dominion squads real quick here before Dudes draws his cards. Um, it's unlikely that these players are going to be below 10 victory points per turn on primary. Which means that uh, Ash is is basically just likely to be five points up at the end of the game. If both players score ten points per uh, per turn from round four onwards, um, Ash has a little bit additional leeway there. I guess they, they can if they do that every single turn, then uh, they would uh, over max primary. So it is probably likely that we see these players max primary, honestly. Uh, but Ash can afford to lose a, a couple of uh, a turn or so of scoring and then be able to make that back up on the bottom of round five. Dudes doesn't have that luxury. So that is a big, huge benefit for Ash. Looks like we've drawn extend battle line, secure no man's land over here for Dudes as well on his uh, primary. I can't move him at the moment, but just pretend he's here. Grab those mission cards so we can take a look at them. Uh, that's actually an extremely good draw on the first turn, to be honest. Extend battle lines just requires dudes to hold an objective outside his deployment zone. Uh, secure no man's land it requires him to hold two objectives, and that is just going to simply be a thing that he does. Um... So I think uh, that's an automatic 10 for Dutes on the first turn. So um, he's he's probably upset about that roll to go first. But, you know, the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Mm -hmm. And uh, today they they have they have taken Nith away his ability to take the bottom round five scoring. But they have given uh, Nith so his ability to score a bunch of maybe. secondary points right now. Now, both these players are going to be scoring a bunch of points this game, chat. Uh, everybody's flush with utility units. Everybody's got uh, 
little units that they're going to be using to score objectives all over the, their army. So I think these objective draws are going to be pretty nice for them. Sister is probably one of the most effective armies in the game at uh, tactical objectives because of the volume that they can bring. Um, just to round out Ash's list here before we get into the gameplay as Deuce is moving his Dominion squads over to the objectives. We are running uh, that Eversore Assassin. We see him kind of in the corner here. Uh, I think we have... Uh, Ash marked his base there because he's high he phased through the terrain. Oh, because they moved the objectives on top of the terrain. Yeah, so he's he's fallen through a little bit. Um, so the Eversor Assassin, a pretty effective little uh, utility piece. We've talked about he's, he's seeing more and more play in Imperium lists more recently since the Calidus Assassin got a little bit of a nerf in the data slate. So a bunch of people are moving to other types of assassins. But he's he's going to be extremely effective in this game simply because he is a little bit of an infantry blender. He has six melee attacks. He can choose a combat drug at the uh, in each of your command phases to give himself either advance and charge, already good against... Um, uh, at, at sort of jump hopping between these objectives and problem solving. But then he can also, if he doesn't need that, gain sustain three. So his weapons, anti-infantry, AP2, um, and with sustain three, he's he's likely to average probably somewhere around eight hits and then uh, wounding everything in uh, the other army besides vehicles on threes at AP2. It has a pretty solid chance of just knocking out a five model battle sister squad, assuming that there's no miracle dice spent to protect them. And that's pretty effective. On top of that, he can also overwatch and heroically intervene for free which is pretty useful as well. Big Nine in Scout 2 means that he does turn one. Secondary is pretty well. He's low in operative. Just a pretty, just a pretty solid little character. Uh, we then have... Um, looks like one, two, three Battle Sister squads for Ash. These are rocking Melta Guns and Multi Meltas. Uh, or a mix of melt against multi melters. One of them has a, all, all melta. One of them with the Minotaurum Heavy Flamer. If I had to guess, the Dialogus is probably in the Melta squad. Uh, it sure, sure looks like that's what we're doing. Yep. So the Dialogus is hanging out with the Melta squad. Looks like we do have another uh, Battle Sister squad with the Palatine to buff up their damage output. Uh, we then have a unit of novitiates, one unit of ten arco, uh, two units of ten arco flagellants, excuse me, one unit of three arco flagellants as a little utility unit, two units of two crusaders, three immolators, and four rhinos, alongside a death cult assassin squad and three seraphim squad and one zephyrim squad. So uh, unlike dudes, who again at the, like I said at the top, is taking mass battle tanks and artillery. We're taking lots of castigators. We're taking the exorcists. Uh, Ash is focused almost entirely on scoring and dealing uh, damage with these small characters. We have uh, things like the Eversore Assassin and the Palatine, who are extremely effective combat characters, and they are backed up by the Immolators, who can buff up their Embarked units with that fire support. It's not the heaviest damage list that we've seen, but it will score incredibly well because it has a mass number of really fast OC2 units that are going to be able to uh, hop up the table with these transports. I'll take that as a as they a compliment. Like brave, they look like gray plastic now. <laughs> I'll have you know they look like black plastic after yesterday's priming session. So dude's gonna get a couple of shots at the auto cannon castigator. Looks like we do have one castigator in strategic reserve for dudes alongside some crusaders. Uh, one unit of seraphim in reserve. I think another Seraphim squad on the table. It's a little, little bit aggressive position here. I don't know if we can get line of sight around the corner with the Rhino after a disembark, but it might be it might be possible. Yeah, oh, I should probably have Overwatch yeah, go ahead. Rhino, because Overwatch it's from free. the uh, mm -hmm. Eversword. Okay, I missed everything. Hold on. <laughs> Very, very cool. Do you think Sister's doing well because they're a bit of a skew? They bring a lot of infantry relative to some armies. They are a little bit of a skew. They're they're almost... 
it's not so much of an infantry skew, I think, that uh, in the normal sense of the term, right? Where you would be like, well, if you take uh, 200 termagants, no, no one's going to be able to um, stop you. It's it's more of a skew in that uh, it, it's uh, it, it's sort of an, an MSU, right? Uh, kind of effect where y your attacks are never converting effectively because they're always overkilling tiny units that don't really matter. So um, it's difficult to efficiently trade into sisters because they just have so many individual units. Now their units individually are also not particularly effective. So uh, outside of some of the combos that we talked about, so they, they don't trade well into other armies, but the fact of the matter is that they're so good at scoring because of all of those units. I think that that's the, that's the, real, that's the real kicker. There are enough bodies to make you waste shots. Yeah, yeah. It's not, yeah, it's not a swarm where you don't have enough attacks to kill them. You can certainly kill them, but you most of your attacks overkill. Is yeah, exactly how it works. And in a game where you know, sort of holding objectives and uh, you know, being able to to have your units to perform actions is important. Sisters definitely have have that on lockdown, and that is you know all post data slate stuff, and also. Um, Requires a very specific build, right? Both of these armies are really very transport based. We're kind of doing doing like our, our best Drukari impression almost. Well, now, we, interestingly, we uh, we bailed the Immolator out with this Dominion yeah. squad. Um, Dutes his Immolator is equipped with uh, Flamers and Heavy Bolter. So it looks like we're probably just going to cook the Eversaur Assassin, I think, and just get rid of that dude so we don't have to deal with him anymore. I think, dude, that's, that's very appropriate. Uh... That guy will straight up, like I said, just kill five model sister squads all day. And I don't think, I think the dudes just doesn't want to deal with it. Uh, trying to angle the exorcist to toe outside of the ruin here so it can get line of sight through the middle of the table. It doesn't have to deal with the indirect fire penalty if it's shooting. Again, uh, Ash doesn't have too many super long range guns, so I don't think the dudes is that worried about exposing it a little bit. Alrighty. <clears throat> And are we off to shooting? It's back where it was. All right, shooting. Let's Word go. Done my stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's start with these. Yeah, I'll start with the emulator. We'll do hunter killer into here. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's start with this exorcist. Let's just do this in correct order. So we're gonna go everything into this guy. Yeah, there is the potential uh, here that Dukes doesn't so have to the bolter. spend the Hunter Killer uh, if the Rhino just dies. Yeah, let's go to Smoke. Smoke. Smoke it? Okay. So, uh, fours. Yeah. Four hits. We need on six, uh, no, fives because it's Rhino. Just one, AP1. Eight. Good. Uh, the missile mm. is eight. So is the heavy bolter off the exorcist to start with? Ooh, God. <laughs> a hell of Two a shot there. Yeah, so four ups, right? Yep. Uh-oh. Two wounds through on the rhino. I CP, and I don't want to use that miracle, so here we go. Oh, that's a good uh, out. Six and two. Take six. That was... Oh, did you not do the... I thought you did <clears throat> auto six and, and any number. No, no, no. I did feel no pain in any number. Feel no pain in any number. Okay. Yeah. It's... Uh, you can see the tokens have been pulled aside. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I had the hunter killer. It's from the... Mrs. Triumph of St. Catherine. Yay, smoke. Smoke face. Yay, smoke. Me. Alrighty. Tempting. Uh, this emulator will go Hunter Killer into Rhino, everything else into Eversor. Okay. So, Hunter Killer. Miss. Uh, Bolter. Is the Eversor stealth? I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, one wound from the Bolter. Two damage. And then the Flamber. Eight. 
going to be nice if the uh, emulator six... uh, burns out the Eversor by itself. Oh, it doesn't! What? Oh my god! What? <laughs> Holy He's crap! Shoot this guy. Are you for real? Oh, Five nice. out of six four plus invuln saves on that guy to dodge the flamer hit. Uh, that now gives Dutes a choice. He has to choose a target for his fire support, and it's either the Eversor, which gives the Dominion Squad rerolls against the Eversor to ensure that they kill him. But if they do right, that, so they lose out on rerolls against the Rhino, and they could potentially knock out the Rhino with volume fire there. Oh my god. That Eversor is so lucky. For a concerning number of shots. Only four. Oh no, wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> Only barely. <laughs> Oh, wait, does he blow up? Oh, he just fired everything into him? No. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure he hit a right now. Oh, hit your right now, yeah. All right. Uh, let's do this castigator. It's Good, Harold. Glad I could. Uh, glad I could give you something to watch in the morning. This is a this is an interesting one. I know Dutes and Ash. I think are sort of opposite time zones. I think they're about twelve hours apart. So this is evening for Ash and morning for Dutes. So it works out. All hits. Hope you're having a good day at work so far. Three rolls. Three at AP1. Uh, three ups. Let's cover because of this yep. building. Six damage. Uh, I'm in field no pay range. Field four. Stop that. <laughs> Ash is killing it with these field no pay. Filters are terrible. Just one. Well, her saves are bad, though, so. <laughs> it is what it is, oh. I guess. Two, two rhinos down to four, yeah. And we have one exorcist to shoot left and a four and in the miracle pool, so we could almost almost assuredly auto kill one. Mm. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'll shoot. My co commentator's here, by the way. What do you have to say about this oh, Adeptus Sororitas matchup, Inky? Right. Two hits. Nothing. One wound. No comment. Goes through. You've got a six up Phila Pain. Tempting. Ooh, are we gonna use that to, to try I to get the one shot on a rhino? She can't make any I'll more field no pains, right? Oh, we're doing it. Alright. Drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen. No field no pains Yay. made. The rhino goes down. No explosion either. Ooh, an explosion there would have been uh, disgusting no too. I don't plan the room to get out. Uh, oh, I need a ruling. Trevi. Disembarking mortal wounds. Do they can I put them on a character? I guess that would be right. me. Why are you asking me? This is dude's, this is dude's hammer. Uh, do it. Do it. Yeah. Can I do it? Uh taking mortal wounds on a character? Yeah. Uh, I don't see why not. Just go ahead. I'm, I don't feel like looking it up right now. <laughs> All right, I have taken one one on the Palatine. Cool. Uh, if we are going by the new FAQ, I think the answer would be a resounding no. But we are not going by that in this event, from my understanding. So. Yeah. No, I'm not going to change it up quite yet. So. That's fair enough. I'm actually not sure about that one. I forget what the... Uh, I don't know what the rule there is for how the mortal wounds are assigned, if they're assigned to models, or if the unit suffers that damage. Let's look. Yeah, my Palatine Pushy is slightly stronger than she was a short while ago. Oh, it does <sighs> say the unit. What? So just in case you want my input here, the the... Destroyed transport mortal wounds are assigned to the unit, not at individual models. Which means I think that the the mortal wound oh, assi assignment like rules normal. would be allocated like a normal attack. Yeah. It's up to you though. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, if that's what the core rules say, I just didn't feel like looking it up because, like, the the reason Tau does it is because yeah, it's because hazardous. Um, you choose a model to suffer the effects of hazardous. Right. But the yeah. but the disembark the dis disembarking destroyed transports just say that they. The unit suffers one mortal wound for each one that you roll. Yeah, that's just to allocate it as normal. Yep. Uh, Thanks for looking that up, Tony. Oh, this is not actually three. I have another. Mm -hmm. 
Can't assign any wounds to a character. Yeah, so so the controversy, the reason that it's a discussion right now, chat, is because of the hazardous rule. So hazardous, if, if you have a hazardous weapon on a character inside a unit that also fires hazardous weapons, when for each ha failed hazardous check, uh, you um, would you choose a model with a hazardous weapon. If it's a infantry, they die. If it's a character, they take three damage, uh, or a vehicle, they take three damage. The the weirdness is that um, if you choose a character with that, obviously the normal allocation rules wouldn't allow you to assign those mortal wounds to that character. But it, it's a model suffering mortal wounds, not a unit, which is a, a situation that is never covered in the rules. So it is, it is simply not, <laughs> not, not, not covered at all. Not not asked at all. Um, this isn't a situation like that, though. So that's why the question, I think, was being asked, because it, it's a similar situation, but in this one, it clearly states that the, the unit suffers the mortal wounds, not the not the individual model that you want to assign to. It's a weird one. Uh, so here's grenades. It's on three. So one Rhino down, one Battle Sister Squad down, a model, but that does mean that they get plus one to hit now. Uh, and that's a pretty big deal. The Palatine is already weapon skill two, but it does mean that the sisters are going to be hitting on threes. Else. Two's in range. Four. Let's ask Inky. Two. Inky, what do you think about the mortal wound Four allocation six. rules? Do you have any thoughts? Good. Go. Uh, she's trying to step here. on the keyboard. Repeat. Well, she flicked her tail at the screen, and so. Yeah. <laughs> I think she says, Seven. pay attention to me, not this keyboard, not this oh, wait, computer. Oh, I have two enough hands. Wait, no, do I don't. I pull them out. Yeah. Yep. Oh, did. Yep. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, uh, at this time. point, I believe that is it. Can't fire with these. Now, fire. Yeah. Okay, Alright, that's it. Battle system. You're exactly at half. Alright, Miracle Dice. Got a two. Got a five and a three. Oh, and my Rhino died. Which I'm about to generate four. That's a four. Dude's Miracle Pool. Two, three, four, and five. Not that exciting right now. Mm -hmm. Ash has a pretty good clutch, though. Uh, what? Oh, shit. Some low numbers to discard to the Palatine and that Divine Intervention. Complete accident. Some high numbers for wound uh, rolls. Pretty good. Plus the Dialogus is in the I center, in, in the front here. So I think if we see the, um, the multi-spend on the Triumph of St. Catherine, uh, we may see the this Battle Sister squad here with the multi-Melta and Melta gun. Do we have a Melta gun in the squad? Uh, no, we don't. It looks like the Melted Gun might have disappeared. Uh, we could see that basically just one-shot the Simulator right now. And then the Palatine should be good to clear out the Dominions. The downside is that, obviously, we, we are, uh, threatening an Overwatch with the Dominion Squad. The Overwatch could be pretty brutal. Um, I think Dude's gonna decide here whether or not he fires that. Taking a look at the secondaries for Ash, he does have area denial, no prisoners. Man, these <laughs> these have been great secondaries so far. I guess that is going to be a little bit tough for Ash to score, but she can run the wounded rhino into the center. And I don't believe that, like, you're not really giving anything up there because the rhino's just going to be killed next turn anyway. Considering an overwatch. Charging, like, five inches anyways. So you really don't even need to move. So is it, do I want to kill like two Seraphim and feel sad that I rolled so bad? Or do I want to not overwatch at all? Uh, don't forget this guy heals. Oh yeah. I guess this is interesting. It doesn't, the, uh, there's, the hand flamer isn't in this unit from the Dominion squad. So it's only four flamer profiles into the Seraphim, if we were to shoot that. So average shots would be probably 14, winning on threes, which would be probably 10-ish wounds. Yeah, which is an average of like two to three dead Seraphim. Not that great. Okay. 
Looks like we're gonna do it though. Maybe we'll roll uh, a bunch so of sixes. Clear. It's a seraphim. Seven. Uh, seven AP ones. No cover. Oh, we're firing it with the immolator. Interesting. That's this one. Kills four. Yeah, Walter. I don't know why I re that. That's just uh, two hits. Oh! And one more. Maybe one. Do we miracle that? Take the fall. Yep. Cool. Looks like we're going to auto pass that last save against the heavy bolter. Almost one shot the squad there. All right. Okay. All right, emulator. Way to go. I don't want to move now you are free to move about the cabin. I don't even really want to move. I'm in melt, I'm in melt the range. Uh, How are folks uh, feeling today, by the way? Hope everyone's having a good morning. Everybody enjoy their Halloween. We went out last night. I uh, scrounged together a, a pretty convincing uh, Jon Snow from Game of Thrones costume from some old stuff I had around, which I was pretty happy with. Had a pretty wild time. Anybody go trick-or-treating? Get some delicious candy up all up in you. Two. Gets me just in angle side of some minions. Um. I know blue. It's going to advance. All set for trick or treaters, but none of them came. Oh. Good, Harold. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't, it, it seems to me, just from personal experience, that, and this could obviously be, like, you know, uh, maybe an effect of, of the your, the skewed perspective of, of a young age in the childlike wonder that comes with childhood. Um, but it feels like every year there, like, less people are, or less kids are, are doing trick-or-treat. It just feels like a sort of an ongoing trend. I don't know if anybody else has that same... Uh, has that same experience. So it looks like we do have a Rhino pushing up into the center yeah, we'll see one. to grab Area Denial. Going to need to try to remove one of these two units in order to, to steal that objective away. Dudes did drop down to um, zero CP, so he doesn't have I don't want to Divine Intervention being represented with, because of that Overwatch. Looks like we did place the DCA onto the objective to steal it away, so they're they're going to be tied there. But Dudes does have the objective in the back over here with the Dominion. Question is whether or not uh, Ash can get a model over there. I don't doesn't feel like they can. Be in a point where I can see the Falcons. Uh, the Rhino is uh, Hatch. Yeah, belly. Yeah, I think that you definitely, like, I, it's probably, like, a neighborhood thing where, like, you get some neighborhoods that get really into it and, like, competitive about it. And then, the, you know, they get all the, they, they, they go all out with the haunted houses and the decorations and the candy and stuff like that. Um, there were some places in my neighborhood that, that went all out. We had a lot of, like, 16-foot skeletons around, you know, uh, and uh, the big blow up, the big, like, cool blow up uh, displays. There's a dragon on my street corner, which is like kind of sweet. But we were walking around. Uh, we were in, walking around in Boston, and there were a couple of neighborhoods that were kind of decked out. But most of the most of the time, it wasn't that great. I, I was lucky as a kid. I think I had a neighborhood that was uh, a one street in my town where every single house went absolutely insane for Halloween, and so they had they had haunted houses with themes. They would have a different theme every year and they would like set it up like that and the whole family would dress up. It was like basically out of like modern family. No community, just corporate shipping areas. Ugh. I'm sorry. That sounds boring. North side of Amish County, Amish Country, Pennsylvania. Bit rural. Yeah, that's fair. Does that uh, mm -hmm. end up with like kind of a long stretch between houses? I could see that being kind of awkward for for little kids to wander around, just in terms of the the distance. Uh, shooting. So 
Well, it's the uh, emulator is going to shoot the Dominion squad. Yep. Uh, and the uh, hunter killer at the emulator. Okay. So, flamers. Five shots. Uh, five saves. Three die. <laughs> That that trick or treat ROI is very important, uh, for sure. <laughs> when you're a kid and you have a cure for you, you want to get as much out of it as possible. So it looks like uh, three dominions burnt to death by the emulator. Hey, you saved it. Okay. High candy uh, return. <laughs> it's good. Uh, so I'm just going to roll the hazardous first. But, you, what, like RCI? Uh, she's only shooting the plasma pistol. Like. Returns candy income, candy revenue. Uh, uh, lose one. And then uh, can you take a battle shot for her, by the way, real quick? Uh, from the... From being under half strength? She's that, she, yeah. that was after the that's turn a, started. That was from Overwatch. Overwatch. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's how the game works. There, there has not been time for that. I'm like, wait a minute. No. I don't know. Deuce is, this is the T is a TO, right? So I think that's the rule. I now. make the rules here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> plasma not overcharged. All the bolt pistols here. Yeah. yeah. All, all the bolt guns or whatever it is. Um, yeah. Infernal pistol is not in range. The kids are out there planting their... Halloween route and uh, just you know they've got they've got spreadsheets and flow charts and graphs. Well, sir. After an internal uh, an internal review, we've determined that the return on the the uh, the the candy candy per hour rate is better in this neighborhood if we take this track alongside the the Wilson's house next to the the Jamesons. And, and then right. cut across uh, Rosebush Ave uh, to get right. to the Millers. Next quarters and fourth. Yeah, their investors uh, will will be doing a review this year. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. If we don't collect enough Reese's Pieces, right. we could lose our jobs. Hey, so there's a five in the Miracle Pull for Dudes. The uh, Dominion Squad does go down. Yep. To the Battle Sisters firing. Uh, the multi melter hits on threes. I cannot see the result. One hit. Putting on threes. One wound. Nope. Um, I will take a two. I will recycle it. That's gate damage. Because of Dialogus. Oh, geez. Yep. And then the normal melter is a hit and a wound. Nope. And I'm not in half range. Dudes with no sixes in the miracle pull to auto save these. To be... Okay, you know, it is a force, so. Oh, it's dead. I blow up. Uh, there's nobody nearby, so. Miracle. Very nice. Got a three. And that is the disgusting, disgusting output of the uh, that uh, B Battle Sister Squad with the Dialogus. The Dialogus and Catherine, St. Catherine combo to just four sixes through the Miracle Pool. Obviously, you have to convert those multi melta shots, so you have to have the raw number of Miracle Dice re required to to push through the, the damage. So... You could potentially, if you have enough of them, just start shipping hit wound. Uh, honestly, just hits through because the Palatine gives lethal hits to that unit if they're in the same unit. So you can um, just be using sixes to hit and then auto wound and then sixes for damage. But you could potentially, even just out of the multi melta squad, be firing for, you know, whatever, 22 damage, 24 damage. Dialogus versus Biologus, who wins? <laughs> I think they, I think they, uh, 
They get like a like a Street Fighter versus screen, and then they just kiss. That's that's probably my head cannon. They're like, wait, why are we fighting? Let's just make out. Sorry. Um, yeah, you got a couple of those. Uh, four hits and winning on fives. Sixes. Sixes, yeah. Uh, emulator <laughs> yeah. next one doing the same thing. <laughs> One. The real answer is like, I mean, who's who's a, a, a better match made in heaven? The Dialogus and the Biologus or the Dialogus or the or the the, uh, the Apothecary Biologus and the Palatine? They're both like lethal hits. Oh, baby. Maybe it's a Palatine and a Lieutenant. I don't know. You give lethal hits. I give lethal hits, too. And I went to college oh, in lethal hit granting save. school. Disgusting. Okay. Uh, and... Yep, I think that's it. Ooh. So I get my hero denial for five and four for no business. Mm-hmm. So this green oh, emulator pass it back to you. has a uh, flamer battle miracle. sister squad. Miracle. Or novitiate so squad, excuse five. me. Got a three. All right, and... let me draw some these. So the, the question here, this dudes I think has to answer this Palatine's unit right now. Um, because the Palatine's unit will continuously just dump out damage on these vehicles, uh, and that's kind of that's sort of unsustainable, I think, for dudes. He does have the Castigator in reserve, and I guess it depends on what we see for our um, our secondaries. Oh man, dudes with the in the perfect secondary draws. Honestly, both these players have drawn well for secondaries. Ash is a little bit lower because she drew that no prisoners on the first turn, which could only cap at a four, uh, assuming she didn't kill a third unit. But that would have been, I think, a bit of a tough call. Maybe force an overextension around the center buildings. Uh, dudes over here today with uh, bring it down. We're all kill secondaries today. Bring it down. Overwhelming force is the poll for battle round two. And he scores his 10 points for primary. If as soon as we get there, I guess. Um, so that's going to require Deuce to kill vehicles. Uh, unfortunately, he does have a five wound rhino in front of him, which is by itself worth four points. And he also just has to kill units on objectives. Fortunately, Ash has given him several good options to kill on objectives. We have the DCA uh, unit that's in the center of the table right here. We also have the Rhino, which is on an objective. So all he has to do is kill these two to max overwhelming force and get himself four points on, on Bring It Down. And he can score up to eight on Bring It Down if he destroys a second transport. Now, again, I think he, he has to answer the Palatine squad this turn. So we may see the Castigator pop around the corner here to try to remove the Seraphim and potentially kill the Battle Sisters in, uh, uh, in the center. You can uh, Ash can probably spend Miracle Dice because the, the Triumph can continuously just be burning Miracle Dice to keep that unit alive to um, to save the Palatine, but I don't know if she has the volume to clear to, to save the unit. Lethal Hit sounds like the title of a lust-filled rag novel, $12 at Walmart. $12?! For a paperback? That thing's in the clearance bin for three, my dude. Logis love. <laughs> it's, got, <laughs> it's like an apothecary biologus. He's got the he's got the the Gravis helmet on, but he's got like a ripped shirt and his like his big packs are standing out. Hell yeah. There was a uh I think a for April Fools one year when I back when I played War Machine. The the two like the, like face characters of the game were were from the the two main factions, Kador and Signar, the the red and blue factions respectively, and uh, their like kind of face characters were Sorsha and Striker, and I th I think that was they they released for April Fools the the cover of a romance novel between the two called <laughs> Ride the Lightning, if I remember correctly, <laughs> which was uh, all the Signar casters were like lightning mages, so. <laughs> This is very good. 
All right, dude's pushing forward with Morven Val, committing the Paragon Warsuits into the fight. I think just going to try to remove as many of these vehicles as we possibly can right now. The thing that he has to keep in mind, I guess he doesn't... Well, uh, hopefully the, the goal for dudes, because Ash didn't get a charge onto this objective, he does actually have the opportunity to drop her down five primary here. If he clears out uh, using an indirect fire and his um, direct fire guns, if he clears out uh, the Triumph of St. Catherine's unit, he doesn't have to actually kill the Triumph of St. Catherine, he just has to kill the unit. Um... He can then kill this one Seraphim. The, the Palatine's unit is not on the objective, so they're just going to be hanging out. And that will Ash, put Ash down to a five-point primary this coming turn, which is a little bit shocking, assuming that he doesn't kill any of these transports and, and uh, force big big units to bail out onto this objective, uh, which will then un -battle shock themselves at the start of Dudes' turn and then sort of flip things around. So, uh, but the, the awkward part, obviously, for Dudes is that, again, Ash has a resilience against this early uh, VP loss because she has that bottom round five scoring. So if dudes continuously scores 10 points a turn, um, Ash is going to, he's, he's going to be um, probably capped at 50. Ash can, can withstand at least one turn of fives because she can get 15 points at the end of the game, which is the big benefit of going second in this matchup, obviously. Uh, Ash pulled area denial last turn, chat. The uh, that's where that's why the rhino uh, is in the center of the table to score that area denial. I think dudes might have been able to deny it, uh, or at least to deny the the full score of it if the Imagifier had touched this objective. But I I don't know what the line of sight would have looked like uh, if it had touched the center line there. That's a, one interesting bit of counterplay to, to keep in mind for, for like first turn movement. If you if you're going up to the middle. It's almost maybe just worth touching the area denial zone to force your opponent to roll attacks against that unit. Because if they fa fail it, you can cut them between two and five points, which is a big deal. Nurgle Matt, what's up, my dude? Guys, I'm excited about this game. Um, should also make sure that the clock is correct. And that dude's has scored. Dude, you got 10 primary, right? Uh, I did. Thank you. Uh, also, is the clock on Ash oh. right now? Oh. Yeah. I, think you, I think you pushed it to me when I was doing the right rhino thing. Yeah. We could just leave it on me for a little bit longer. No big deal. Ten. Yeah, I think Ash Ash did disembark for like a good solid two minutes on Dudes' clock earlier, so I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I, I have a sneaking suspicion this game's not going to go to time. Both of these are very fast players, so I, I think that will probably be resolved before it comes down to clock, but who knows. With so many units on the table, you got to roll out all the attacks against them. It's kind of tough. Plus, like, everybody's doing annoying, uh, <laughs> like, dice manipulation. Every, every attack's getting slow rolled. It's going to be wild. Man, sisters, the fact that sisters can support, like, it, it's a fact, it's a codex that's not particularly long, and it's a faction that's not super duper deep, but w even with one detachment, they're deep enough to post a data slate, support two pretty different archetypes is super cool. Really, honestly, like, excited about, about the health, I think, that 10th edition's experiencing right now. Um, I know I, I s talked about it when the... Uh, Edition mechanics were first introduced, and I was hoping that detachments would see a wider variety of units in each faction, see play. And honestly, like, I don't want to jinx it, but that's kind of what's happening. Both Tyranids and Space Marines, usually there is like one or two dominant detachments, but almost, or I would say probably 50% of the detachments see competitive play right now. And even the, the armies that don't have multiple detachments yet are seeing a lot of interesting art types pop out. The only ones that aren't are like maybe Drukhari and... Like Thousand Sons, maybe Death Guard. But even Death Guard, you can play Mortarian or non Mortarian. World Eaters, I guess. The factions with lower unit counts don't really have too much going on, but uh, the other factions are, are looking great. All right, Castigator's popping out, so we're going to be trying to knock out the Palatine squad with that Castigator autocannon shot. And I, I will say, chat, uh, Ash was poo pooing the Castigator autocannons before the game. So if we see um, if we see them just start ripping her squads apart, we'll have to uh, 
uh, chuckle slightly to ourselves a little bit. I want that to happen, so yeah, I need to scoot over. We're also going to see, I think, some interesting, or, or uh, the usefulness of the exorcists here. Because if the castigators are able to knock these squads down, uh, the, the the single wound models in the squads, the, the exorcists are very good at picking up characters after the squad's been removed from the multi, from the single, the, the low damage guns. Because as soon as the exorcist gets a single hit through, you just burn a miracle die and kill that character automatically without having to roll for it. Uh, and, you know, you're not able to pull out of line of sight of those because they're indirect fire. So they're going to find you. They'll find you and they will missile launcher you. That's true. That is entirely true. Um, and then do I want to get Arcos out? Don't think it's necessary. That would oh, be wait, decidedly the last thing this turn. Nah, that's fine. So this rhino in the yeah, center. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to... Um, I'll activate boss thing. As an Arco unit right, and an Obishi unit. I messed unit. up the Malpy Malta and the Malta. Wait, did I pick off the... What's up? Oh, whoops. This is supposed to be a... This is supposed to be a regular Malta. I'm sorry. Melta. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I mean, it doesn't affect it. Like, you obviously don't pull the melt guy out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, think, I think I got that mixed up. Yep. Oh, I know what happened. I pulled, I pulled her, and then I pulled. Then I realized I couldn't do it. When I grabbed this one, and I moved it. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, that that was okay. Happened. Uh, I think that's my moves. If you have anything to do. No. Okay. No ingress. Uh, so I guess let's start with this. The Seraphim do have a shoot and scoot, so I think we may see Seraphim push up to the top here. Might try to get some shots around the corner and then push onto the objective and steal it. Okay. They don't need to ramp it ingress. So to death, hunter killer hits wounds in the box. It's a one. For three. All right. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to try him for aura. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me roll my shield off hands. Take two. <laughs> Take two. There is a tread right there. <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right. This is a heavy bolter in the green. Oh, my God. No sixes at all this game. Pretty. Uh, five saves. Hey, people. All right. Uh, didn't do troll six on Overwatch. What's Summer that gun? Cover? Summer no. Oh. oh, that's true. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, I'll I'll take this roll. Uh, uh, it, it's just uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, six. So it was red. Reds are the ones. Three is a blue. Four and five are greens. And we just auto roll them. Sequence in which they came out. One, three, one. Okay. Got three die. You got double uh, things. It's yeah. not impossible. Nope, they die. Okay. If it was five up, so that would be. Yeah. All right, auto cannon. Eight shots because you're thin rapid. And then I'm looking at threes, three rolls because you're infantry. And then twos, you're only just twin lights. Look at that so eight shot, eight chance. Oof. Fully in cover now. Uh -huh. These auto cannons are brutal. Very good, I think, anti space marine tech, too, as space marines get more and more. Um, popular especially sort of gravis armored stuff holy crap did that just burn the unit yeah. oh my god well i guess we have feel no pains obviously uh but wow that that could potentially just rip the battle sister the palatine and the dialogus the battle sister saved it on the feel no pain are you for real 
Palatine dies. Sorry, not Palatine. The Dialogus dies. Holy crap! Nice yeah. And then we have four more, and uh, we can just. Dialogus ability is still active because you're still a unit. Oh, we're still leading. Yep. So. So we could just flip all those into saves. I will just grab. Burn them all. Uh, I'll roll one more. There you go. Then I'll burn those three and Palatine. She up. lives. Wow, that battle sister rolling triple sixes saves the Palatine. Are you serious? That's insane. Holy crap. Well, Dudes is going to deal with that. We do have two exorcists, and Ash did burn a lot of uh, CP or uh, miracles to keep her alive. So we'll see if. Um, See if the exorcist can take her down. Although we are representing a a um, uh, divine intervention, if they do decide to shoot at her, and I think uh, as soon as that happens, Ash spends the CP or spends the miracle dice to leave her at two wounds, and suddenly she gets the benefit of that uh, blade of Saint Eleanor at full power because she'll be low, below starting strength. Uh, and then missile into yellow rhinoceros for eight shots. Could even leave her at one, and then she's plus one to wound, and plus one, or plus two strength attacks and damage. Oops. Uh, six AP two. I'm you are most assuredly dead. Explosion, and then I have oh, it's uh, so on the Akos because this is by unit now. Uh, they take one, and then I'm gonna wish it. They take nothing, and does the Akko feel it? The Akko does not feel it. Cool. I'm so jealous of these Sororitas Rhinos chant. I was telling the players beforehand. When I play Space Marines or CSM, all my rhinos might turn into sisters rhinos because they have a they have a proper collider in TTS. Look at this thing; it's glorious. It even it even does a yellow scribe aura without issues. Wow, what a time! What a time to be alive. Never um, shit. Where did I put them? Oh, there. Okay. Uh, Novitiates teleport to your side of the board, obviously. Of course. As is there, right? As uh, you you have absconded with my Novitiates by telling them that I am a heretic and they believed you because they are stupid. <laughs> that, that, that's the problem with Novitiates, right? Sick. They're, they're stupid. They haven't First of all. <laughs> they, they never learned any better at the school out yet. They haven't finished their training. <laughs> the fan fiction today, chat. We've <laughs> got so much. Guys, All right, so that is the uh, the first. Is a one. Bring it down. Scored. Yeah. All right. So that was cool. Um, the next thing that I will do. Let's see, with Castigator. Let's wait. Um, let's do Vol's unit. Uh -huh. uh, we're gonna go, so nobody's in Melta range here, but we'll put Melta's into the Emulator. I'll do Grenade Launchers and Morven Frag into Arcos. Okay. I'll do Fidelis. Into purple. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're just and firing everywhere, all over the place. I will do. What do I have left? Bolt pistols. I'll chuck into novitiates. Okay. So here's the bolt pistols. Remind me what's the triumph on it? Which setting is she on at the moment? 
Uh, auto sixes for death and uh, fail me. Okay. So all of pistols hit. You're rolling these. No wounds with three rolls. Okay. Uh, going into Arcos, I've got. I'll start with Morven Frag. Four shots. Interesting. And uh, threes. So four. You do have uh, a six up save. Yep. Zero damage. The grenade launchers. Twos. Uh, three. Uh, oh, no save okay. from those. So these are just uh, one, two, and three damage. All right. So three and three because one can't spill. Yeah. Plus one's dead. Second one's dead. Oh, where is my? Nice. Where, where is all this funeral thing? Uh, okay, I've got the bolter going into the sisters, which is six shots this turn. Uh, to explode. Two super one. So eight saves. I have only two in cover. No, oh, three in cover. Yeah, three it should be cover. three, right? Yeah, three. First one dies, second one dies. Cool. Feel the pains if you want them. Uh, sure. No, tried. Very close. All right, and then I think I just got Melta into that emulator. Uh huh. Threes for rolling, and these will be fives for rolling. Two AP fours. Are you in Melta range? I am not in melt range. You are not a range for one of them, but... Oh, I think it measured wrong. Oh, because it, it went to this thing. Uh, that's fine. I'll just say it missed. Okay. Um, yeah, then I'll just... I'll both. Ooh, Pink one. spicy. Alright. That's 6 plus invuln, coming in clutch. Oh, for one, one damage! <laughs> what? Dude, snow. Hey, look at this. So here's the question. You'd love to see it. All right. Do we see Morvan push into that emulator and try to kill it uh, in melee? I think now that Ash has Novitiates on the objective, I don't know if Dudes is, is going to clear it. So Ash might be locked in for the 10 point primary next turn. Not that, as we said, uh, much changes if she doesn't get it. But it might mean that uh, Dudes is less incentivized to push super far forward. Okie dokie. Probably shoot this castigator. Uh, still got an emulator left. And this stuff. Alright, this emulator. That's, that's no emulator. That's a moon. That's no moon. Um. Oh, yeah, Exorcist. Shooting emulator, maybe. Uh, you can steal my objective if I shoot this rhino, though. So, yeah, we'll shoot the emulator. Mm -hmm. So, number of shots. Four. Two hits. One wound. Uh, what else can shoot? Castigator? Seraphim, Triumph, Castigator. This is a four up. Uh, yep. I'm gonna just grab a five if possible. Okay. Uh, cool. Did I roll for my. Did I roll? No, I did roll for my rhino. Yeah. Uh, Triumph will shoot the novitiates. Mm hmm. So twos, four saves. Uh, 
one drops. <laughs> Castigator. Uh, I will put two heavy bolters into novitiates. I'll put one here. And I'll put the auto cannon into the rhinoceros. Okay. So auto cannon actually yeah, auto cannon into rhino. It's uh it's minus no, it's not minus one, so it's just hitting on twos. And plus one of wounds, so this will wound you on threes rolling. So seven saves on the rhino. Mm -hmm. Sure, three up. One. This is the last thing that's shooting the rhino, right? Uh, I still got Seraphim, but yeah. Take six. Okay. Uh, one of them heavy bolter into the assassins. Uh, that hits. This is a explosion. This will be on twos. Four saves. Five up. Uh, they die. Generate miracle. It is a one. All right, and then two into novitiates. Oh, that's not a reroll. Uh, these explode. Actually, that is a reroll, which was a six, which explodes. Is your infantry? No, that's not a reroll. It's that's, just the auto yeah. Uh And then twos. Six AP ones into the novitiates. One left. Uh, Seraphim. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I can see this lady. Not with this flamer, though. Just with one flamer. So we'll go one flamer, chick here. One flamer, chick here. And, uh, well, these, these four are going into here and one flamer check here, and then I will not overcharge. So here's the not overcharge. It's wounds, AP2. Uh, feel right. me? No, no, sorry. From this perspective, from this angle, I'm taking it on cover. Yep. So. Okay. Yeah, she did. Uh, and then there's four bolt pistols going into that unit. Uh, one save. Passes. Okay. And one set of flamers. Two shots. That don't wound. Veto. Um, and then the other one going into the Novitiate. Seven. Okay, she's dead. Right. Okay. Five. Got a five. Cool. All right. That's shot. That shot. Everything shot. Oh, I guess the Imagifier. Uh, yeah, I don't want to kill this Rhino yet, so I'll just shoot you with a bolt gun and see what happens. One hit. Cool. All right, charges. This thing is so six still have inches away. The little arco flagellant that could in the corner here. Yeah, we've got an arco. Probably multi charged Morvin's unit, I think, into the emulator and the arco. So I'm going to charge the emulator and the arco with balls okay. units. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to roll it. Whoa, not miracle? 
Oh, yep. no, just easy. Easy game. And I'll, before I end this move, I'll tank shock the emulator. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. I want swords over here. Let me just make sure I do this right. So seven get both those models with Morbin's engagement. Is that a failed charge? Hold up. <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure. All right. Uh, these Seraphim are going to charge here. Oh, let me do that. Tank shock. Actually. At least, at least a close. I think Morvan maybe could make, could probably do it from Using the center. The mace, between so it'll the be two. 14. It'll be tough. Uh, just three. Weird. Okay. And that's that. Yeah, let's do Seraphim into your Seraphim. Enough. Ooh. Ash is repping uh, two CP see. for an uh, HI here. Two. I think that's probably what There's was no going to happen. It. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so either the Palatine or the It'll Triumph gets in and, and takes that objective back. The one thing Ash can Ash can afford to, to lose five points on primary, but well, I don't know if she can afford to lose ten. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, get ensuring that that she else. holds this objective is, is important. Right. Well, I will. Uh, yeah. do it. Five um, inch charge. The awkward part is going to be the triumphs charge. Yeah. I, yeah, I guess this probably works. If the Battle Sister moves laterally to get in an yeah, I inch... I can't actually get yeah. Agu without breaking coherency, so I can't actually base you. Right. Uh, you can get within engagement range. So that is a successful charge. Yeah, and then I'm saying I can't base you, so I can't... I can't base you without breaking coherency, so I can't base you. Right. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think the triumph could go there with a five inch charge, maybe, but that's seraphim. longer than two inches if the battle sister bases the seraphim. So, no requirement to base, so Ash can kind of go wherever she wants, necessary. which is pretty nice. And then, because that's a successful charge, I'm one still thing uh, to actually, yeah, I'll, I'll, do it. I'll oh, get yeah, the uh, rhino in there. Can you miracle dice a charge? You can, you can indeed, although you, you can only miracle dice one die out of the charge roll. So you have to roll the second dice. So yeah, it was a, a little bit brave of Dudes not to use his five there to get Morvin's unit into engagement here. Uh, if he didn't do that, I mean that's four points on Bring It Down right there. Like these, this is the turn to kill Rhinos if you have it, uh, because they're each, each worth four victory points. So just uh, just raw dogging that charge was pretty brazen, honestly. But you know it worked out for him, so seems fine. Arco Flagellant's going to eat two Paragon Swords to the face. Morven Vol does have her double attacks ability active right now, so she's, she's swinging ten times to the Lance of Illumination. Which, uh, with full rerolls, should be enough to kill the Emulator, but never say never. With Miracle Dice on the table. Although I think, actually, the Triumph is pulled out of the Emulator, so the Emulator can only active faith one, one saving throw this turn because of the Heroic Intervention. That's actually very funny. Uh, this will be fives. Hey, Volley Bearable uh, so in chat. What's up, my dude? How's it going? I missed you earlier. When you posted. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Thanks. Cool. The mace. Uh, this will be threes. Uh, three at AP1. I'm quite annoyed I accidentally pulled myself out of round per inch, but I had to check for currency. Yeah. Oh. Four ups. Can I roll two fours? No way. No way. The emulator lives through Morvenval? Oh my god. That's disgusting. Uh, yeah, we couldn't have put a sword into into it maybe with the base on Morvenval. I guess that might have been tough to also maintain engagement with the Arco Flagellant. Oh no. So four damage total. Four four ups. Come on. 
<laughs> That's a yeah. disaster. Right. I don't think I can really uh, move. Uh, here. So the the downside there, obviously, for Deets is that the emulator is still alive. So this is the red emulator. who's inside this one. Uh, it's another heavy weapon team. Oh, no. It's a heavy weapon team. The emulator's alive, and uh, the emulator, both of these are vehicles. So the emulator can disembark its occupants, fire into melee, choose them for fire support, and then shoot the, the multi-melta in uh, with, with wound rerolls. Um, so we can, you know, potentially to use our, our extra dice here to, uh, our, our multi-dice, uh, act of faith, multiple acts of faith ability to, uh, fire, uh, to, to auto hit all the multi melter shots and then be wounding on threes with rerolls. So that's, uh, a potentially a lot of damage would have been nice to remove that emulator, potentially kill some of the, the battle sisters with the, uh, the mortal wounds, score a bunch of points on on bring it down and prevent the um what's the word the fire support but that is very unfortunate for deeds right there and that was with a tank shock too more than a paragon with a tank shock couldn't kill a wounded emulator oh man let's see unfortunate i'm just gonna leave this chick here just gonna go everything into the uh, seraphim. Okay. Uh, start with the superior. Three hits. Uh, one wound. Kills. And uh, then just the magifier. I don't even know how many attacks she has. One attack. Yes. Okay. Your stuff. All right. Um, time squad. For 18 attacks. You never know. Uh, is it strength 5? Five? 5, yeah. 3s. Oh no. Dead. And I moved out of my triumph like an idiot. <laughs> I thought I did. Good heroic intervention for Mash That's there. Um, I wonder if uh, dudes would have been better served to just shoot and scoot the Seraphim squad to steal that objective instead of going for the Seraph, the, the kill on the other Seraphim unit. That unit was below half strength, so it was uh, forcing battle shock. So that it's it's not reliable for Ash to hold an objective with it. It is good for actions, to be fair. But again, has the potential to fail Battle Shock later on in the turn. She's mad now. Two damage on a Magifier from the Rhino that's, swing back. Uh, that's me. <laughs> oh, that's a heartbreaker of a turn, chat. We only killed the one Rhino for Bring It Down. Overwhelming Force uh, is maxed, I believe. Yeah, because we've killed two units on objectives with it. Oh, the simulator! Still alive. That should have been a perfect to draw for dudes, but unfortunately, more from Vol, I think, has has led us astray. And Ash holds herself to ten with that heroic intervention. Assassination tempting target chosen for the uh, blue sororitas. The blue sororitas who are uh, a little bit idiosyncratically in red armor. So tempting targets. It's going to be a tough one. I believe that dudes can... F well, there are Seraphim in reserve. And I don't know what the screen looks like. It looks like the Seraphim are probably good to drop over here, fire, and then use their shoot and scoot to jump on that objective. So I don't think dudes has a good option for tempting target. It might literally be the one in the middle, but uh, the red Sororitas Rhino has 10 Arco Flagellants in it who should be able to take that objective away. Hmm... And assassination is most likely going to be scored maybe on Morven Ball. We might be able to kill Morven Ball with the Palatine. Uh, the Triumph of St. Catherine is also here, but that is a boatload of wounds to get through, so we'll see. Find uh, Immolator fails. Battle shocked. Shooketh. Immolator's battle shocked, but I don't think that uh, it's leaving combat anytime soon. Okay. That's my command case, then. Unless you pull 
tempting target and go first. Feel like ditch tempting target unless they pick an easy objective. Yeah, well, it depends on your army, right? Because there are some armies, and I think this is a good instance, a good, uh, a good example. There are some armies that um, have just just have the maneuverability to take any of the no man's land objectives at almost any time. And, and I think you know Suratas is a good example of that. If you don't have you know infiltrators essentially, or extremely heavy screening. Which it's tough to do because Battle Sisters are pretty good at killing other Battle Sisters. So the Dominions here can't really screen out outside of the terrain. They'll just die. Which means that the Seraphim are always a threat to, to take that objective away. You need OC2 infantry on those objectives to protect them from the Seraphim. Just putting 5 OC on them anywhere on the table. So I, like I said, I don't I don't think that there's a good option for, for dudes right here. Um, but I agree with you, chat. Tempting target is probably one of the weakest secondaries because you, it's it's almost entirely outside your control. You don't know which objective it's going to be. You don't know what the board state is when you draw it. It's not like an investigate signals or an area denial where it, it needs you to go to a specific point on the table. It's totally up to your opponent. And there are some instances where it's an auto score, uh, like I think in, in this case. And there are some, some instances where it's a, it's a big zero. It's a big goose egg. But Ash is in a good a good spot to draw that card right now, and she did it. So, honestly, the secondary objective draws have been great for both these players. Dude's just got extremely unlucky trying to kill that emulator, and uh, I don't know if that four point swing is going to be you know a kicker. He's already got 19 secondary points, but uh, in a in a game against two armies that are as good at scoring as Adeptus Sororitas are, uh, I think that each of those points is going to be pretty pretty killer. So. Dude's, dude's missing out on the potential, uh, what, 23-point secondary score is a big deal. Arcoflagellant's pushing out now. Ooh, are we going for the Triumph of St. Catherine? They are only a 3-plus save and relatively low toughness. And Dude's didn't drop his own Arcoflagellant's out. Hmm, that is, they are dangerous to the Triumph. Only one CP on the table for Dutes. Do we see an Overwatch to try to reduce the size of this unit? Probably not. Arcoflagellants are really stupidly hard to kill, by the way, chat. They have a 4 plus field no pain and 2 wounds apiece. So they're extremely good against almost any kind of infantry, and they're extremely difficult to kill unless you have a ridiculously high volume weapon. I was able to kill a unit in uh, my semifinals game with a... a Aramon's entire flamer squad. <laughs> Which felt good, but man, is that a trade down? That unit's like 400 points. Is it time for hot triumph on triumph action? I'm ready. Is your body ready? Burr, burr, burr. They're gonna get up and then get out and just stop. Yeah. I don't think there is a challenge about space on that side. Yep. It's just it's stopping here, yeah, not getting up there. Um Demo is happy, trainers are happy. You two to get out. Be annoying. The worst possible way. Let's get some. Glorious triumph on triumph action. It's 
So lovely Palatine on Morven Bell actually. And I'll leave the blue. Just gonna spin. All right. Uh, in the movement phase, start bringing in friends. Friends. Yeah, no. I can just hold it for you if you want. Well, you know what I'm doing. Of course. Nailed it. Zephyrin. I'll try to let you chill for a while. You'll get two models on. Mm, a little close here. Huh? Oh. Oh. oh, these ones, right. I drew, I did not draw that at the right angle. Not oh, bearable. <laughs> oh, just the hard good to see the church doing its up on them. These ladies would all be, would all be racist right. against space and wolves. that's everything. You yeah. can't let them succeed. All right, shooting. Um, you go shoot the rhino. Okay, we know what's happening. Mm -hmm. and, Famous, not overcharging. Famous. Success. Three saves. Get in there. Now. Uh, How dare you? Pass my misses. Bolt pistols. Two saves. Strange. Steal objective stolen. So there's the shooting scoop. Stolen. Tempting target stolen. is scored. Oh. I know shoot stone bolt there at the magifier. Mm hmm. Nothing. Uh, emulators are both shooting the triumph. Okay. With. Uh, I might go to ground here and get cover. Oh, think. okay. Yeah, well, I will pick one for to shoot first, then the one at the oh, back. Oh, you're ignoring cover. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so... Oh, I have to do them separately anyway. No, no, I don't, because my plus one, two, one does nothing. Yeah. Oh, they're true. Wait. Okay, sorry. The one at the back is shooting the Triumph. The other one I'll decide in a minute. Six sure. shots into the Triumph. Uh, four saves. Uh, no pain. Yep. And oh, the... my trap's broken. I hate it. One, one heavy bolter save. Heavy bolter. Takes a two. Takes zero. Oh, uh, emulator shoots heavy bolter and flame must go here. Okay. So, here we both the... Um, plus minus one, minus two. Uh, one save. I don't think they degrade. Let me double check, though. Oh, they don't? I think I looked this up the other game. Let me just double check. I might no, have, I have, might I have the data that. card here. Uh, no, they don't. All right, so that's yeah, weird. <laughs> Pretty yeah. well, right? What? That's three so that's two ones onto the trap. Emulators don't have a damage this is the profile. Flame, right? That's wild. no, this is the bolter. The bolter. Okay. Uh, take two. Take two. Oh my God, Chad! Look at that. No damage profile, even though they're eleven wounds. On three. That's nuts. Plus one to wound. Wait, do rhinos? Hold up. Uh, three ups. Good. Okay. Um, I will select no. them as my fire support. Is that the case for all rhinos? Okay. <laughs> so, um, Ministorum. 
So it's hand flamer and normal flamer. Sisters. Redis, why are we streaming so early? Because uh, this is the time the game was. This is the Black Crusade Online Finals. A GT Finals. And uh, this is when it happened. Two, six up. Zero. Right. And then the heavy flame up. Uh, oh, okay. That was no, like four either way. Yep. <laughs> uh, winding on. Wait. Should be five still. Uh, uh, or no, it's uh, fours. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Three saves. TP one, right? Yep. Uh, TP. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dude's getting a little wrecked here by the go inability to remove these vehicles because the below half strength one bolt is really gun. killing him on the plus one. One bolt way. pistol, two bolt. No, two bolt guns. One bolt pistol. Two guns. Almost killed one just off. Uh, Palatine overcharging, shooting them. Interesting. That is not a one. Do does she kill herself? No. And uh, then we have this rhino shoots the castigator. Mm -hmm. Misses. Other emulator shoots the castigator. Ten shots. Take one. Mm -hmm. okay. Hold the... Nothing. That's about everything shot, I think. Yep. Uh, triumph, I guess. Oh, triumph. Want. Triumphs go burn into the... Falgons, I guess. Um, so, six bolt pistols and one bolt gun. Oh, she's got a bolt gun, too? No, no, no. The... Oh, the battle sister. Right. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh, okay. No, I'm just going to treat that as a bolt gun. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Oh, no. They all, you would have been plus one anyway, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you had a three to two, so you're fine. No, the the two the two is questionable because she hits on threes plus one minus one. And these are winning. Oh on right, four. shooting into melee. Yeah. yeah. Because plus one to one. I won. Man, even these Damn. little bolt guns with plus one to wound starting to put damage yeah. in. Ugh. <laughs> that. Oh man, that was a lot of ones. I considering how many dice I made you roll. It wasn't that many. Just because of the wounds. You rolled a lot of dice, but not me. <laughs> um, alright, so that's the end of that. Did I kill yeah. anything? Not yet. Charges. Uh Battle Sisters into the Triumph. Okay. Oh. Battle sister plus I don't know. You try I think that's a fail. I think that's a fail. Really? Um, the old box cars. Then we have. Man, they're really going for it. Hot damn. What? No, I want it over here. You just weren't basing me. I just moved you closer. Oh. That's all. Okay. Uh, Crusaders into the Paragons. Yep. Seven. Uh, Come get it. You elves. Teleported on top somehow. DBC uh, teleports. No need. Yeah. Do I think the triumphs can kill the other triumph? Oh yeah. They're actually really good at killing each other. I mean, not in I... one swing, but you've got Arcos. Yeah, but I kind of wanted the Arcos to go into the Rhino. Uh, Palatine and Duval. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, shit. Yeah, that was what I didn't want this for. Wanted this to go up so far for. I completely forgot. And absolutely screwed myself over. You went like seven, right? Yeah. Back to 
Yeah, seven's like there. Oh, okay. See, me looking at your your triumph's aura and being like, oh, that's my aura. Oh, uh -huh. over here. That's my Alpha Legion triumph right there. He's confused. <laughs> yeah. It is I, your leader. Why are you charging me? Charge them. Arco into triumph plus I know. Interesting. Uh oh. That Technically enough. Sure. Ooh, this is gonna be a weird one. Oh boy. Uh, these ones have to go there to maintain coherence. Mm hmm. And then these ones. Oh, here. Tag. And I need what, at least one more here to maintain coherence. Yeah, here you go. Uh, it is, one it is a seven. successful charge. Somehow. <laughs> yeah. One has to go stand somewhere here. So. Yeah. This one has to go stand somewhere here. Oh, your Arco bases work, unlike mine. Yeah. Um. Uh, it's probably a pretty quick yeah. collider well, replacement. Uh, well, I guess I'll just try the Zephyrim into Val Squad. Sure. No. Nope. Plus Banner. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. Okay. So you can't interrupt. Indeed. I burn my palatines. Palatine swings, burn the thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, five attacks. Force. Uh, the dump side, roll two first. Neither of those wound. Grab a six, take, uh, make a save. Uh, this is, it's just, uh, well, I'm going to take a mortal afterwards. Oh, and oh, what's, wait. Your, what's your damage oh, right sorry, now? Sorry, sorry. Um, I forgot the start of the fight phase, spend one, the crusaders are going to, uh, oh, suffering sacrifice. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can go back by that. Yeah, you're good. Oh, what's I, your I, damage I forgot, though right now? Uh, three. Is, is it three or two? Three. Okay. Uh, and then it's AP what? AP two. AP two. Uh, I'll just miracle for that. So I take one. All right. I was supposed to part the triumph here. I just murder the entire squad. Okay, triumph. Eighteen attacks. Okay. Oh, let me see if I actually take that. I did not take that wound actually. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, cool. Team attacks. Whatever you say, dudes. Yeah, twos and threes. Uh, two, twos and twos. Because I'm on the Oh, because that stupid battle sister. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, I take seven. Maybe. I take seven. So I am at seven. Okay. I need to figure out how the hell this is going to work. Because... Indeed. Alright, so this one couldn't base you. So we don't go there. Actually, it was not close enough to base you. This one goes here. Out over here. This one goes here. Or up to maybe here. Mm -hmm. This one is... So you have four in there. Yep. This is range. This one is fairly within range. This one is... This guy cannot go this way. Uh, that's 3.4. I can't move. So, uh, this guy. If he was here, no, it would work. Okay. Fine. I got two guys stuck doing nothing. Um, yeah. so. Not bad, pop, considering. Pop hazardous. Uh, yep. So that. Six times four, it's 24 attacks on the triumph. Fours and threes. Yep. Oh, I forgot to do the one battle sister, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. You can add that to the save. Uh, okay, she missed. All right. Maybe we can go back. So, regularly scheduled Arco. <laughs> okay, so these are threes. 
Taking two so far. Three. At this point, I don't care. Okay. Uh, take, what is that? Five Philippines. Take three. So she's at four. Both triumphs. Mm -hmm. Plus one. Okay. Plus she's one to moon now. Okay, and then the remaining. Yep. Uh, uh, four Arcos, so same thing, 24. The one thing on fives. Yeah. But it's a rhino. 13 saves. A uh, 9 saves, sorry. Um, that was. The number didn't update. 2 damage. Uh, 2. Yep. Okay. Uh, Crusaders into Val and Friends. Yep. One save. No pain. Yay. Uh, it's just me then, I guess, right? Yep. Uh, you want to just get your Rhino out of the way. I'll swing first, but just roll it now. Yeah. So you're done. I mean, my emulator will also definitely get swing because you have to fit the critical. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, we know the order, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Two saves. Two saves. Oh, jeez. Um, I kind of want to keep you in. So I'll miracle the last one. Yeah. Uh, and then so your you emulator. With, so you fight with the Magifier, then I fight with my emulator, then you fight with then. Um, yeah. Yeah. Emulator, so I think this does this mean that we did so not three, score yeah. assassination this round? I think that we did for Ash. So we've okay. sort of reverse punted now to I kill secondaries this round. Okay. Uh, I think both players losing side. points on them. Yeah. yeah, one has can go into that Palatine there. Mm -hmm. With a sword. And this will be twos. All right, forward, head turn goal. Two each. Yeah. Oh, jeez. And then I will grab a four and pass the last one. Yep, makes sense. Palatine takes two and lives. Uh, those guys are dead. I'll do my magifier. So now quick. I think She's the war suits are locked in, so they get minus one to uh, hit so shooting. She oh, she, she is wounded. She got wounded last time. Oh, that's right. So I got a hit. Uh, no wound though. Okay. Uh, we'll do this rhino. Oh, do your uh, hazardous real quick. Oh, right. yes. Ones. I'll take it. Pull one from each end. Okay. Rhino going into those dudes. I think that also means that uh, three the objective eights, remains Dietz's, so he'll continuously eights. continue to score three saves. Ten primary One dies. because the Paragon Warsuit survived. Good They're right. each OC two. Uh, and then, what do I want to do with my triumphant friend here? What are you gonna do with your nine attacks? Yeah. Um, this battle sister is angering me, but at this point, I'm not sure if it even matters. Yeah, we'll hit the we'll hit the triumph unit. Okay. So twos and twos. Right there. Only one damage attacks off the triumph, so they probably bounce off the arcoflagellants. Getting rid of the plus one to uh, wound seven. on the. Opposing triumph is probably the way to go. I th don't know if this extricates it from melee too. It might be able to fall back without penalty here now. With the battle sister there, it was certainly no, lipped, but the arco flagellant might pretend might prevent it from falling back Even without taking right, desperate escape. Not, not okay, Weird part so about the triumph is it's such a that, big model, that. but it is infantry, so you can't shoot into melee with it. So its castigators are kind of stuck here. I don't really have too many good targets besides the. The light infantry over on the sides. All right. Miracle. 
I will just four. I will chuck tempting and keep the other one. You mean chuck assassinate? No, keep keep tempting. It, I'm keeping assassinate. Because you scored tempting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. What? Oh, all oh, right. I did. <laughs> I, I I clicked the wrong thing. Yeah. All right. Just know, just shuffle it. Just shuffle, shuffle it. it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So keeping assassinate or no? Mm -hmm. Uh, do I keep assassinating? Good question. I'm pretty sure I'm going to score this next turn. You have an Magifier who wants to die. Yeah, the That's funny really part good. is that the... It's pretty guaranteed. Okay. The Magifier might die on Dutes' turn, which would be the best case scenario for Ash. Uh, so uh, also, if the Triumph dies or attempts a Desperate, desperate Breakout uh, or is killed in melee, if it remains in melee here by the Aircraft Flagellants, then uh, she would also score it on Dutes' turn, and that would be incredible for her. Oh, this game's so close, chat. If dudes can blank assassination for a battle round, that's a big deal. That's lost efficiency. Kind of makes up for his uh, getting a little bit, uh, a little diced out on on his bring it down the last turn. We'll see what he draws this turn, though. This rhino heals. Uh, you draw before you take battle chops. Either way, it's fine. Um, so it's just my triumph, which I don't. Uh, drawing, drawing before method yeah. in case you need to auto pass one. Yeah, it's definitely better for you. Oh, you may draw objectives to draw yeah. first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, it is the. I can't discard or anything, anyways. So technical way that things work, but it's also good for you no, because then you know if you, if you need to spend one CP to auto pass. Yeah. Right. It, that's just literally uh, just helping you. If you already rolled it, you can't go back in time. So, you know, actually, I, I would have been... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would have held this. That's good. Some of the 10. Mm -hmm. So we have Storm Hostile. Uh, so it's just Triumph. Defend Stronghold. Man, Dudes' draws this game have been great. Defend Stronghold, Storm Hostile Objective. He has to take an opposing objective. Unfortunately, Ash is right up in the middle here. If he can take this, either this objective or this one at the top, right here, which uh, both are doable. I think those uh, those Dominions might just uh, just kill the Seraphim, and then the Rhino gets on the objective right. by itself. Um, and your triumph. That's a that's a five points right there. Defend Stronghold is just ticking. There is a non-zero chance the Archaeflagellants push through and take the objective from the Exorcists, but it's not amazing, especially if he pulls out a melee with them. Looks like the Triumph of St. Catherine is going to hop back to where she was. It's a bit of a dangerous position, and it doesn't look like she had to desperate breakout to get there. So she'll be able to uh, stick around for a turn. And then Dutes does have his own Arc of Flagellants inside the Rhinos. So uh, he can he can answer the opposing Arc of Flagellants or, or storm one of these objectives with his own unit. Making Ash commit one of her Arc of Flagellant units first is a big deal because then he can he has a chance to remove them. Morvan Vol theoretically should be able to kill the Palatine and the Emulator in shooting. The Palatine has not yet uh, Divine intervened. So it could respawn on death in the shooting phase, and then uh, more from Fall or Arco Flashlands would have to kill it in the fight phase. Should be a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world. A little dangerous, though. All these these vehicles together, if uh, Dutes overcommits and overkills them, and they explode into the Imagifier, again, that will actually score Ash Assassination on his own turn. <laughs> Which would be bad. We'll see if that ends up happening. Castigator moving up to steal an objective away. What is this guy looking at? He's looking at an emulator and some Argos. That's fine. Okay. Uh, it's time to play with my units. These guys are... I'm just going to get them out, like here. Ash, if that's fine with you. So I don't have to do dumb stuff around this train. I have like nine inches of movement-ish. I'll just do that. Dude, you made this terrain. Um, these... Do you have anything else out? 
No, right. No. I'll just advance with these things to seven. Rhino can go here. Oof. The, the Arcoflagellants for Seraphim trade isn't really one that you want to make that often. Mm. Mm. That's not a great trade. But Arcoflagellants are cheap. They are just sort of a, a blender. If you can get Arcoflagellants into two enemy that. units, they'll probably kill both of them. And I think that's kind of what you want to do. Yeah, that's fine. So just going to be using his own Arcoflagellants to fight the enemy Arcoflagellants. This isn't there. going to be a confusing Magic fight whatsoever. Fine. Maybe. Yeah. Those are going to be there. That's going to be there. That's going to shoot there. Co commentators here talking into the camera or into the microphone. Inky, say something cute. She's like, I don't do requests. I just want to put fuzz on your microphone so you have to clean it before you record your next video. Thank you, Inky. What did you get on yourself? What the heck is that? Is that foam? Oh, and he knocked over a camera. Awesome. Thanks. Please don't, no, don't drink that. That's paint. Jesus Christ. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, can I see you if I go there? Nope. Hmm. This is probably worth the risk. So I'm going to be real sad if I can't kill that. Although, if I go there, I just get... Momentary intermission chat for my cat trying to eat a paint jar. Hope that's... Hope, hope everyone's okay Probably with that. don't kill me. Oh, please don't take that. I need Unless that. Unless you roll hot. Um, it's probably not worth the risk, though. <laughs> More like his toy. <laughs> can I, I can play? No. Give me Anything else still with transports? You got blue rhino and both green and blue. <laughs> what the fuck? God damn it. All right, Agent X uh, requested a treat. We'll give her a treat. Hey, Inky, you want a treat, though? Oh, so you're sitting on a knife. What's wrong with you? So this exorcist can actually just go here, right? I'm not going to lie, putting my triumph up there instead of here from the last class of the last main game. Uh, it's high risk, but we'll see. No, I was supposed to put it here, so you'd be down to lawsuits. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I do have Crusaders, which are honestly probably just hanging Inky. out back here for signals whenever I pull it. Inky, where you? Inky, where'd you go? What are you? What are you doing? Okay. I'm gonna treat. Okay. Well. Oh, I need to move. I tried Agent X. It's a thing I can do. Color line so we don't get those mixed up. No, oh, that's not very. She doesn't Here. want them. Let's do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, that's the moves. 
Let's do some shooting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Caldus into Triumph. I'm getting a one-star review on Yelp from my cat. Five. Uh, four saves. AP2. We should call those ink, ink, inks their missions. All right. Um, this exorcist. We're going to go heavy bolter into the Arcos. Oh, wait. I need to fall back to this right now, actually. Excuse me. Uh, heavy bolter into the Arcos. And then Hunter Killer into triumph and missile into triumph hey she found them okay. she found the treats mm -hmm. so heavy bolter uh nope two into the arcos they're two damage okay first gotta uh, so just kills one uh missile for three uh, do I CP that? Yeah, I'll CP that. Four or six. Threes and twos. Right, five. Next three. Um, well, the first two. So six so far, and I'll Miracle five. I do eight, so you're at five. Okay, the Hunter Killer hits. Does not wound. Should use that too. Whoops. All right. Castigator. Uh, Castigator, we're going to go Heavy Bolters into here, and Auto Cannon into here. So here's the Heavy Bolters, twos, and twos. Six. And plus one to hit and wound. Brutal on that Castigator, damn. Three. Generated a lot of additional uh, hits Auto there. Cannon. This is the perfect wounds count for this Castigator. Oops, that was too many. Uh, hitting on twos, winning on twos, rolling. So eight into tramp. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Yeah. Brutal. I mean, I can realistically concede. I, I already screwed up the two things. The multi melta being yep. on the wrong side, meaning mm -hmm. I couldn't insta give this thing when it came in. Yeah. And the triumph, yeah. Do not play after a long walk, eh? Is it... Sorry. Looks like we'll just get a talk out there. Wow. Yeah, that was a hell of a turn from dudes, honestly. Definitely felt... You felt for him at the, after the uh, the emulator just lived there forever. I myself. I think... Uh... But definitely the Palatine, I think we were... I mean, we, we spent the entire game talking about how much damage this Palatine did, and then not having it in range to, to burn all the Miracle Dice next to the Triumph was huge. Because one thing that day... Uh, as soon as that lady can, can auto auto wound a bunch of times then uh she's just putting invuln saves into the paragon war suits plus mortal wounds right uh with like a potential six attacks which is kind of disgusting and uh only on, be basically being being just um blanked by miracle dice was was super unfortunate for her i uh, will go heavy bolter into the emulator and i'll put oh we're not gonna talk out into these battle sisters no mm -hmm. i guess not So for All right, six, we'll, we'll keep I going, I guess. Right. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. We should have two more miracles. Okay, five saves on the Battle Sisters. Mm -hmm. And then Heavy Bolter into the Emulator. Yeah, plus one hit. One save. 
two or three. Two more right there? This one. Oh. Good. Alright, that's that, that's that. This castigator. Uh, I think I'm just going everything into the Sephirim. Start the auto cannon. Uh, I... uh, what did it take no, damage? Is... damage from? Uh, you shot an emulator at it. No, I shot. Yeah, but I did no damage. I failed one of them. 100%. I thought, I thought... Oh, okay. I thought you passed all of them. Uh, this is all two dudes. Uh, eight saves. One left so far, and heavy bolters. So this is a weird, the weird uh, faction so where doing like exactly one damage to a target is like really bad for you. You really want to uh, overcommit into them to kill them. If you leave them alive, it's it's a disaster sometimes, especially for these big tanks. So we'll go grenade launchers, Palatine, mm -hmm. uh, Morvan, 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 uh, crack in the Palatine. Yeah, you're fighting first there. Yeah, so. Yeah, grenade launchers, crack and a palatine, um, and heavy bolter, and I'll do the meltas into. I'll do one melta here, and one into the emulator. <laughs> yeah, exorcist on exorcist on like five, into right? Is is the the worst nightmare of anyone? Just plus one to hit and wound and no penalty. Let's go. And then just vaporizes you. Uh, 184. Yeah, the, I mean, dude's list is brutal. The semifinals, my semifinals game with him was also was similar. No. This emulator at the back, right? Yes. I got one exorcist down, which was on, on turn one, which was lucky. But then the other one basically killed one of my characters every turn for the rest of the game. <laughs> There's nothing I could do about it. It was a disaster. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's uh, six damage. Uh, His melt range. Yep. Uh, into the front emulator. Uh, one save. Pass it. Yep. Uh, what Morgan's else? What? What else is going into it? Uh, it is. That was it. Everything else is going to Palatine. Okay. So more of a crack. Two saves on the Palatine. She's good. Spend one. Burn one. She comes back with one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's uh, definitely um, how it feels. Those their tanks are just hard that. enough to kill that you can't like. Nice. You have you have to chip damage usually into them because they have weird uh, wounds counts. Here. But in I doing so, if you don't kill them that turn, then they just get mad mm -hmm. the next Here's turn. The hazardous sure. roll. Definitely a She's benefit of the die. sister's armor. Did she hits and wounds, AP3. Kills. And bolt pistols. Uh, one save. Flamers for 13. Yeah, the Miracle Dice saves are especially good, especially if they're in the Triumph Aura, so they can potentially Miracle multiple times and have a Feel No Pain. The number of times that those tanks live on one is insane. I mean, as we're seeing in this game, right? There's, like, every every vehicle is half, half wounds. But it probably should be dead. Three, so... One model left. Uh... All right. Um, I think that's all of my shooting, if I'm not mistaken. 
all that I really care about. So she comes back. Close as possible. Yeah, so fortunately, uh, she popping out of melee means that Morven, uh, who now just gets to okay. um, pile in, having not killed the emulator, Morven, uh, the Paragon Warseeds just get to just get to turn around and kill her now. We're on eleven for a charge here. Right. Easy game. Right. Man, this turn has been brutal for for dudes. He's probably he's uh, unlikely not to get the simulator with a second round of attacking from Morvan. He'll probably get the Palatine. Uh, he'll get the Seraphim and the other Arca Flagellant unit. Now Ash has a lot in reserve and transports. Another Arca Flagellant squad plus Crusaders plus Seraphim and two Battle Sister squads. But the BSS are um, largely just Flamers, which are good into the Arcos, but I don't think they're going to kill the unit. And that. Uh, and uh, Ash's Arcos will probably trade for one of Dutz's, but I don't know if she has the answer to the second one. Plus Morven Ball is the other awkward bit. An epic tank fight. And I think that's all that matters. I'll start with my white Arcos into your Arcos. I will overcharge. Uh, and then, let's see, I'm going to be on fours into three. Forty saves. <laughs> Arca flagellants are so good, chat. Kills. Just a, just a casual just roll the, do you 40 want to roll the damage. No. Um, okay. Uh, my Paragons, this one's going to pile in here. So both the Swords into the Palatine and Vol into the Emulator. Mm -hmm. All right, Morbin, you swords. got it. You got this this time. I believe in you. Eight wounds. And then Vol. Uh, it's dead. Gets it with devastating. Very nice. Finally. If only that had happened to turn earlier, that would have been nice, but it is what it is. Yeah. I can't, can't base you there, so I don't think I can move that way. I guess I could. No, I can't. I don't think I can move those. Uh, and then Castigator. Uh, two saves. And then it's on to you. Well, I'm trying to beat that guy. Magic fire. The emulator took two, right? I'll mark you. Mm -hmm. Alright, now one of twos. Two saves. Two to my magic fire. Yeah. So, dudes has to save this here. Yeah. Uh, first one's good. I'll just miracle the other one. Yeah, there's the miracle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would have given Ash assassination on dudes' turn, which would have been awkward. Then she can redraw another card. So dude's going to go up five for Storm Hostile because he took back his objective over on the left-hand side. And then Defend Stronghold is ticking, but I think that, that will convert right. for Dutes because I don't think that Ash has anything threatening it. So Dutes will probably go up to 57 points. Miracle is a one. And I'm passing the thing. Yeah. I'll get Storm Hostile over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just move my Rhino on. I just move my Rhino in charge. Um, like, just, I'll just, Are we, yeah. just talking it out, or? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm just talking out my turns. I, I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not doing anything important. Uh, yeah, I think Ash probably just scoring out points here for for final tiebreakers. Maybe. If you, I guess. The uh, there's still an Arco Flashlight unit, uh, and she has a lot in reserve. It's not. Um, I think she's definitely. Uh, no, 
um, sort of not dead on board here, but it doesn't look... It, the prognosis is not good with Morven Vol living in the middle of the table there. Uh, definitely think that Dutz's, Dutz's decision to put Morven Vol on the table was definitely good, and I think the ability for a transport list... Transport lists love taking the first turn because they can really sort of... Um, was that a desperate breakout that died? Oh my god. Um, they can really, uh, you know, push... A lot of a, a lot of uh, kind of dangerous or a lot of threatening units into the middle of the table with with long enough threat ranges to push into the opponent's deployment zone. So you're able to uh, uh, occupy a ton of board space going first. So dudes was hoping for the second turn for the scoring advantage, but first turn still obviously has that score that that position and the uh, board control advantage. So Storm Hostel should kick over for Ash. She should get five that turn, thanks to the contest contestation from the Castigator. Um, which, yeah, we scored up the five. And then she'll get ten for secondary, so she would go up to 49. Dude's up to 57. Uh, up eight points is a big... It's a, a tough hill to climb. She does have that the benefit of that bottom round five scoring, but the two turns of five point primaries uh, does put her into the area where uh, the zone where she starts actually losing points from the top end of her score potential. Uh, Ash has uh, no Arcos in reserve. She only has Arco Flagellants in this Rhino here. Um, so the Rhino is pushing into the Castigator to seal the objective away. That could push the Arco Flatulence out and then a charge into the vehicles in the back over here. I think is the uh, the potential move. Point seven two. No, you would have been on a five. Wait, who? Went for... Oh, you already marked it. And then this MO would. Just charge the downside is the arco flagellants are yeah, nearly fire. as good into castigators. They're wounding on sixes, uh, and then uh, zero time. AP is unfortunate for them. They're very good at infantry clearing. They're not Rangers, good at the, the um, yeah. at the vehicle punching and so much. Uh, this rhino, I'm just pretending did everything. Mm -hmm. There is like no way I couldn't have moved twelve to get here and make a three inch charge. Yep. Um, yeah, two saves on the magnifier. Uh, first one, good. I'll miracle the other one. At all matters, uh, three here. yes, you do, um, you do some damage. Uh, I mean. I'm just assuming you're maxing everything at this point, so I'm just trying to figure out what I can score. Capture any outposts I would never score. Yeah. Uh, defense stronghold, I'm pretty sure I can score. I probably, you'll get it next turn, yeah, because I can kill. What's your melee yeah. unit is good at killing uh, tanks? Yeah. Um, uh, a lot of space marines can do it, right? Uh, I think, like, you know, aggressors are probably fine at it. Although, I guess they're not necessarily pure melee units. They're kind of a hybrid. Um, it's world eater stuff, right? A lot of the big the big punchy monsters. Angron will kill a tank. Argath, King of Blades, will kill a tank. Um, yeah, I think there's, a, I think there's a, bunch of, a bunch of melee units that will do it. But not 130 points, though. Not 130 point infantry units. That's the That's the kicker. <laughs> Arco flagellants are wildly efficient against infantry, but not so much against vehicles. They'll still do a number of vehicles, though, to be fair. I think the conversion, assuming no buffs are active for them, uh, uh, they convert probably 40 hits into sixes re-rolling, so they're probably good for, like, four or five damage after the saves, which is honestly probably enough from a 130-point unit. And assassinate, engage. I don't know if I can. Are, are all your characters dead, though? Uh, yes. Wow, okay. the and auto probably... tick on assassinate. Look, that's the BM right there from dudes. Draws assassination battle round four. Well, 
and automatically scores it. And then... Yeah. Because you would have had two... Ash and 76, yeah. Congratulations to dudes for taking down Black Crusade Online. That's a big... That's a big one. So I think, uh, yeah, Ash is discussing her mistake here. Pick up two lethals, pick up two dice. That's... And you had no success, then you just die. Yeah. For posterity, if I had to just raw dog a six, would I have made it? Nope. Quite the opposite, in fact. So, just to, to uh, for edification, uh, Ash was saying that, that her multi melta model was, I believe, um, uh, outside range of the Triumph. Or uh, I think she had to kill it to, to maintain coherency. So that she didn't have an overwatch when the Castigator came in. And because it had the Dialogus uh, plus the uh, Triumph combo, it could automatically convert its hits into wounds and then automatically convert those each into six damage. So with an overwatch and four spent Miracle Dice, she could just kill the Castigator that came on. I mean, I think, honestly, if that if that is on board, then Deuce's, Deuce's deployment changes quite a bit, right? Um, you know, Ash is saying, well... I can't auto kill that castigator, and I think that the counterplay is that dude just doesn't put the castigator there. But that is still a, a, an unfortunate mistake, and I definitely can understand that. I do think uh, sisters, and especially an MSU kind of, uh, uh, I want to say like sort of low math, very high combo list, like uh, Ash's list, probably requires very, very, very high level play. If you make any mistakes, I think they'd be, you, you lose with it. I do think sisters are very easy to lose with because they're. Army is relatively fragile. You have to be very good with it. But if you are good with it, clearly it has teeth. Okay, is there anything from chat? Um, nothing right now. I think just just some sisters okay. talk. Cool. Sisters Trevi, thanks are, for streaming, man. Sisters are bad. I know they yeah, lost. So they lost in the finals. Yeah, it's unfortunate. We need nerfs. Or, uh, Need buffs. buffs, yeah, yeah. Buffs, yeah. Buff Arca flagellants. It's, oh, they they're terrible, aren't they? Should they should be seven points. They don't have a all. save, Trevi. Yeah, they don't yeah. Have a save. That's just, just. I think they should be OC too. Yeah, I think they should be free. Honestly, I, th I think they yeah. should be. They should be. They should have OC value equal to the number of wounds in the unit. <laughs> so full units just OC. 100. Uh, uh, no. So no. so 10, 10, 10 Arcos would be OC. Um, so each model, each yeah, model would have OC twenty. So yeah, right. OC two hundred. Yeah. Oh, it's, okay. I got gotcha. you. That's, yeah, that's yeah. fair. I mean, that's that's we're that just going back to to like ninth edition objective secure, right? They just take an objective if they're on it. Yeah. Yeah. They they, they, they just have the old up. Black Crusade or the old uh, Black Legion. You cannot hold objectives rule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Seems but fun. if you if you do enough, if you just like knock them down to one model, they only have OC one. Yeah. One model with one wound only has OC one. Oh. Easy, easy counterplay. It's, it's it's just exponential OC. <laughs> <laughs> exponential OC. Put that in your in your homebrew. Mm, mm, that's for the next one. That's for <laughs> Naoshi Sun Eaters two point oh. Will be exponential OC. <laughs> yeah. That one was funny, dude. <laughs> uh, well, dudes, congratulations on taking it down. I'm glad I, I, yeah. uh, I lost to the, the final the final winner. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't expecting to to do this well, but yeah. Sisters have uh, been doing pretty well for me. So mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like it. And uh, all I of those I... all those uh, edits you made to the codex to make it better for yourself or also for, for your event. Yeah, exactly. Too. Yeah. All the uh, specifically, the specifics ruling I made in my favor too. That's how. <laughs> I mean, that's if you just make your own event and just shift everything into your favor, you yeah. can win. It's yeah. Easy. Yeah. If this, if you were to play the sisters list in a different event, it would be four thousand points actually. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, but we I we didn't made our own check my list. Unitor and field manual. Like three thousand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just added my favorite units. <laughs> <laughs> just sprinkled some stuff in there and then just changed the. The three nine seven eight to to a two thousand. Yeah, yeah, oh, one nine nine nine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for playing, you too. Well, cool. Thank you for playing, Ash. Thank you for playing. Thank you for being a good opponent. And uh, no, yeah, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't. 
I was a terrible opponent. If I if I'd been a better opponent, this Melter Squad would be alive. And Val would be dead. <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure playing. Yeah. But my, 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 I don't know. I don't like the Exorcist. Yeah, yeah. It's like Max it's, Casino mode. It, it's so painful to work without them, but it's so painful to work with them. Mm -mm. If also, I could take two more autocannon castigators, I would. Also, I might just, to, I might just go down to one and pick one. If you want to steal my um, tokens, this is a good time to do so. Oh yeah, I think I have them saved somewhere. Who is this no, little you, guy you, on you, top you, of the you castigator? You have the ninth edition one saved. Oh right, okay, yeah. Let me get these. Oh, he's a little, he's a loader server. Have been edited for tenth edition. That man is horrible. Tenth triumph tokens. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to bed before I pass out. I have been away. Yeah, I gotta do grown-up stuff now. Ew. I am approaching 18 hours a week, which is not that much, but it is a lot when you have work. Indeed. Good night. Thanks Thanks for Cheers. working with me on the time, Ash. I'll see you later. Bye. Cheers. All right, chat. Who had dudes taking it down? Everybody did. All right. Wow. No? No uh, respect for Ash today. Jesus. Uh, well, congratulations um, to Dudes. Took down BCO, 3D player GT. Thank you for the follow. Um, it's an interesting name, and I don't know how to say it. So I'll just say thank you for the follow. Um, all right. So we there is a finals game scheduled tonight. I am not sure that I will be streaming it because I don't know what my uh, schedule is tonight. But if I do, will if I do stream it, I'll put it on the schedule. It'll be 8 p.m. U.S. Eastern uh, tonight. That is the Pod 20 Finals, uh, and I will grab the matchup for you real quick here. So please come check that out if you uh, are so inclined and uh i'm glad we got to watch this game this game was sweet didn't wasn't sure a sisters matchup would be particularly interesting but i think it definitely is the the lethality of sisters into other sisters is very funny and the miracle dice uh the sort of compounding miracle dice um mechanics are are interesting all right so it is a it is a necron mirror match wow two mirror matches in one day can we can we sustain that Oh, but it is a spicy Necron Mirror Match chat. It's Silver Tide versus the Silent King. Oh, <laughs> this is a spicy matchup. We might have to. We might have to uh, to watch that one. All right, chat. So I'll, I'll uh, post it up if I am able to attend that game. Otherwise, it will probably be live into, in the Discord server. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Let's go rating real quick. Hope everyone has a good rest of your Warhammer Wednesday. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. If we can find somebody to raid. Anybody playing games? 1.3k people on YouTube. Uh, or on the Twitch tag right now. 1.3k people on Twitch tag. And we don't have... We only have 20 of you. Come on. Get on in here, chat. Get on in here, everybody. All right, let's uh, let's read alchemist models. That sounds fun. All right, thanks everyone. I'll see you around. Remember to keep it classy and all that stuff. And uh, have a good rest of your day.